Okay, today we're going to be learning about greatest common factors, and we are starting on workbook page 8. So factors are numbers that go into another number. So for example, the factors of 4 would be 1 times 4, because those both go into 4, and 2 times 2. So all the numbers that go into 4 are 1, 2, and 4. So these would be the factors of 4. The first two factors of any number are always going to be 1 and the number itself. So today we're going to be doing greatest common factor. So I'm going to do B over here in the work zone. We want to find the greatest common factor of 12 and 66. So I'm going to use this T chart. So we know that the first two factors of every number are 1 and the number itself. So those are the first two factors of 12. Now we want to see, is there any number times 2 that goes into 12? Yeah, there's 2 times 6. Then we could try 3. 3 times 4. So that's it. There's no other numbers that go into 12 besides 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, and 12. So those are all the factors of 12. So now let's do 66. So again, the first two factors of any number are 1 in itself. Then we could go in order. Let's try 2. 2 times 33. 3 times 22. 4 does not go into 66, so we skip that. 5 does not go into 66, so skip that. 6 goes into 66. 6 times 11. 7, 8... 9, 10, do not go into 66. So you want to see if there's any numbers between the last two numbers that you got, so between 6 and 11, that still go into 66. There isn't any more, so that means that we've gotten all the factors. So the factors of 12 we said were 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, and 12. The factors of 66 were 1, 2, 3, 6, 11, 22, 33, and 66. So we want to find the greatest common factor. So that means the biggest number that they have in common as a factor, which in this case would be 6. So the greatest common factor of 12 and 66 is 6. So now I'm going to jump to letter D. We want to find the greatest common factor of 32 and 48. So I'm going to do it right here, 32 and 48. So the first two factors of any number are 1 in itself. So then we could try 2. 2 times 16 goes into 32. 3 does not go into 32, so we skip that. 4 times 8 goes into 32, 5 doesn't go into 32, 6 doesn't go into 32, 7 doesn't go into 32, and then we're right back at 8. So that means we've gotten all the factors of 32. So now let's do 48. So 1 and 48 are the first two, 2 and 24, 3 times 16 goes into 48, 4 times 12, 5 does not go into 48, 6 times 8, and then the only number in between 6 and 8 is 7, and 7 does not go into 48. So that means we've gotten all the factors of 48. So for 32, we had 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, and 32. For 48, we had 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 8, 12, 16, 24, and 48. So now we want to look for the biggest one that they both have in common, which would be 16. So the greatest common factor of 32 and 48 is 16.
Okay, so last thing we want to do is fill in our answers on the answer line. So for letter B, we got the answer 6, and for letter D, we got the answer 16.